Good evening. This was to have been a big Thanksgiving week at Texas A&M, home of the Aggies and a storied football tradition. The Aggies were getting ready for their annual game against the University of Texas Longhorns and in the Lone Star State, it just doesn't get any bigger. But tonight, Texas is in mourning. In College Station, a huge pile of logs set up for the traditional bonfire collapsed. At least eight students are dead. They were getting ready for the big annual bonfire at Texas A&M. They build and burn a mammoth bonfire every year for the game against the University of Texas. Tonight, they are still picking an enormous pile of logs apart in the hope that maybe a student under there is still alive. The president of Texas A&M said today there will be no bonfire this year. The only other time it has been canceled since 1909 was when President Kennedy was murdered. At 2.28 this morning, the bonfire stack fell. It is a 90-year tradition at Texas A&M, a bonfire preceding the Texas A&M University of Texas football game. More than 7,000 logs are piled up, nearly 60 feet high, to make the bonfire. But this year, the log tower collapsed. The spirit of this school is absolutely unbelievable determination to get on with life. I mean, this is a very special place with a very special hurt. I think this community will recover very fast, strong. No matter how predictable we think life is, none of us knows what the next hour will bring. When we went to bed last evening, none of us thought that tonight we would be consumed with the grief that is now confronting all of us. All of us cried as we watched our loved ones being removed from the stacks of logs. We prayed that all would be alive, but they were not. We prayed that all of the injuries would be minor, but they were not. We prayed that our agony and our grief would end quickly, but it has not. Last night and today, we saw a community working together. We can't stop this now. This is a time to renew our commitment to one another. It's a time to show the world that the spirit that can never be told is alive and thriving. We can't focus on the sorrow that we're feeling now, but we must celebrate the way in which these Aggies have lived. We will remember them as long as there is a Texas A&M and the Aggie spirit is alive. And that, my friends, is forever. We have felt like since early that our role at the University of Texas needs to be to show our support, but do it without intruding, because we need to be on the outside to help you if you need help because when a family has adversity, and especially a family that's as strong as Texas A&M, that adversity brings that circle much tighter and makes you much stronger. When I think of Aggie Bonfire, I know what makes it so special. It's every single Aggie that stands around it. And there's a lot of Aggies standing here tonight. I think the one modification, the one modification about this yell practice is that it's a yell practice of hope and a yell practice of strength. We have a challenge in each one of our lives to look for hope and strength and to move on and look at our future after a tough time and tragic week here at Texas A&M. And we'll never forget it. That will never be forgotten. This yell practice is not trying to forget anything. That will always be in our minds as long as the spirit lasts here at Texas A&M. Hey, just was meant to be, I think. The A&M family needed that win, and I think the players were just so committed to it turning out that way, that just they willed it that it would, it would turn out that way. I mean, it was a, a fitting climax for a, a week of real uh, trial for, for the A&M family.
Hicks is 14. What a throw again. Going down into the end zone. It's Bob Gardner. It's a touchdown in the end zone. A yard deep on the far side of the field. And they're coming up the middle. He's been stripped of the ball. Who's got it? Hey, and he's got, got the, the ball. ball. And he's got the ball. 23 seconds to go. And he's got it. As then student body president, Matt Joseph, he said at the groundbreaking of this memorial, we will once again be able to step into a circle of unity. We will be able to journey down the path in the footsteps of these remarkable students. We will be able to see their faces and witness the signatures that they left on this place. We will have opened the doorway for others to share in our grief, but also to attempt to understand our spirit. We will have etched a place in the landscape of our campus, just as they have permanently etched a place in the landscape of our hearts. Today, we remember and celebrate the lives of 12 remarkable people. 